You just let it go and you just play. I think that's one of the best things that you can do. Because that's, mo- that's the most important thing when it comes to dealing with mechanics is embracing the inconsistency and just playing the game. What are the things that contribute to inconsistency with mechanics? Sleep. Uh, sleep is going to be reaction time. It's going to be your ability to read the situation quickly. Sleep is a huge contributing factor to inconsistency. Stress. Stress is going to reduce air dog, even the sub as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, your ability to process things quickly is going to have, happen a lot on an better on an unstressed mind uh, than it will be on a stressed mind, and that might be uh, something external. It could be something internal. It might not even be like, oh, I'm upset. It could be that there's just a lot going on right now. Okay, uh, diet, health. Small, 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 and not a huge, not, I would say, a priority, but it is something that can, can somewhat affect your inconsistency. Um, here's another one, all right? Playtime consistency. So if you're somebody that plays consistently a little bit every single day, you're going to have about as consistent mechanics as you, you, you can possibly can with that aspect, right? If you're somebody that plays a lot, then doesn't play. Plays a lot and then doesn't play. Plays a little bit, then plays a lot. I mean, you guys have seen me play, right? There are times where you probably have seen my mechanics and I've hit some nice shots, right? And then you've also seen times where I literally look like I'm like gold, right? And I think that's from playtime consistency. I do not play the game consistently. I play it sometimes on stream about once per week, once or twice per week with Patreons or whatever. And that's all I play. I don't play ranked. I don't even... I, and the other thing with playtime consistency is not... Um, oh, we'll, we'll get to that one in a second. But playtime consistency is when I had the most consistent mechanics ever is when I played a little bit of ranked every single day. I actually never skipped the days. Um, that was that was where I found my most consistent mechanics many years ago. Um, hey, Abbott, what's up, mate? So playtime consistency. Hero consistency. So because Overwatch is such an incredibly unique and nuanced game, that there is going to be so many situations where you're going to be playing Sojourn and Tracer and Genji, and while some mechanics carry over, not all of it, every character has a unique mechanical signature, and so it's going to be impossible for you to be consistent with X hero and consistent with Y hero unless you have equal play time in both. So if you're somebody that plays a lot of different characters, you're going to feel inconsistent. And that is completely unavoidable. Um, so just keep that one in mind. Okay, so hero consistency, play time consistency. The other one, which is a pretty obvious one, is warm up consistency. I'll just put up warm up. Like warm up is kind of like what gets you to like a baseline level mechanics. Uh, it doesn't need to be. 25, 30, 45 minutes. It just might need five or 10 minutes. It basically gets you, like when you're when you're starting, your brain's not fully alert. You're not fully keyed in. You're not fully primed for Overwatch. All the pistons that need to be firing off are not necessarily firing off. Warm-up allows you to do that. You can, making sure that you're warming up, doing the same things every single time can help prime your brain. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is tilt, uh, mentality, uh, or focus, lack of it. Um, getting frustrated, getting emotional, getting upset, overthinking things, getting inside your brain, and actually we'll put that one there, is going to throw your attention off from just playing the game and you're going to slow things up. You see, mechanics is such a fast skill that you really can't think too hard about it and yet you also can't can't let yourself totally get distracted from it entirely. Um, If you are getting tilted and frustrated and upset, you're putting attention uh, and focus on the wrong things and you're letting this kind of tie you back in to stress, which is going to affect you mechanically, right? Uh, there's no way of, like, your mentality is a hev- heavily, heavy, heavy impact on your mechanics. Uh, overthinking as well. Overthinking your mechanics. Like, thinking way too hard about your mechanics is going to lead to some serious inconsistency. Confidence. Lack of it. Um, again, kind of, well, it's not necessarily, this one kind of ties into some of these two, right? But this is a, a, a net cause of a lot of inconsistency with mechanics. Um, oh, here's another one. You ready this one? Focus on, focusing on the inconsistency. And this very much ties in to the previous one, the previous two, really, uh, especially the overthinking things. But one of the worst things that you can do is when you're inconsistent with your mechanics is to go, oh crap, I'm inconsistent with my mechanics. Okay, just keep playing. Don't overthink it. Just play the game. Um, I think part of the maturity with consistency with mechanics is understanding that you're never going to be consistent with mechanics. Uh, yeah, hardware. 
Could be, yeah. Uh, I, I think the thing is just like, you have to understand that nobody's consistent mechanically. Nobody. Not, not the best, most consistent. Some of the more consistent players in the world, like Proper and Kevster, are not consistent with their mechanics. Nobody is. It's, too, it's, it's impossible. The other thing, heck, is even movement, right? Yours and the enemies. Uh, because when you think about like, what's the difference between a missed shot and a hit shot or good tracking and bad tracking, you're only one factor in that, right? It's the enemy team as well. So if I'm tra- if I'm playing Zenyatta or Widowmaker versus Bronze, Silver, Gold, Plat, Diamond, or maybe somebody that's just not that good at movement, maybe they're really good at game sense and stuff, but they're not that good at movement, right? So maybe they're my rank, but they're terrible with movement. I'm going to feel like freaking the greatest player of all time. And if I then play a person who's also that same rank, maybe they're kind of stupid, but they they've they've watched a lot of movement videos, they practice their movement a lot, then all of a sudden I'm going to feel terrible. I'm not going to be able to hit any shots at all. So that's the other danger is because some of the inconsistency is just inevitable. You might wake up on the wrong side of the bed, but also some of the inconsistency here. here, Okay. You ready? Let me give you guys a little bit of a story. Let's say you wake up on the wrong side of the bed. You wake up, you go into a match, you queue in in a master's game and you play versus a couple of players in the enemy team who are masters for game sense, but are not masters for movement mechanics. So what do you do? You're not having a great mechanical day but you don't even know it because you're still hitting every shot. But yeah, so you, you start off, you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, you got bad mechanics, but you play versus a couple of members of the enemy team who also have bad mechanics or, or and are more game sense oriented. And so you're hitting every shot, even though you have bad mechanics. So what do you think? Oh, I'm having a good day. Man, wow, I'm hot today. I'm popping off today. So you get some confidence and you're not overthinking it and you're not tilted. And then you're, you're going in and all of a sudden that bad day turns into kind of a decent day because you got off on the right foot. You're confident. You're not overthinking it. You're not tilted. And so it was actually a bad day that so, so all of a sudden morphed into a good day because you got to a good start. And, then, and the flip side is true too. You wake up, you're actually, you're actually, you got good sleep. You're not super stressed. You're, you warm up well, you get into a game and you play versus these, these guys that are crazy with their movement. And you're like, oh hitting any of my shots like they're da, da, da. but see you don't blame the movement you blame the mechanics so you should have had a day that looked like this right but you didn't because you hit somebody that was outside of your control and you bounced right back and now you really are having a bad mechanical day because you're overthinking it you lost confidence you're tilted you're focusing on oh here we go another one of those inconsistent things again right you guys see what i'm saying um, so it's like, because this is such a massive list, I'm not even necessarily putting this list out to encourage you guys to practice all of these things. Although I think many of them are good to practice for sure. The reason that I'm putting this list out is because you need to look at this and be like, I don't know that I can control all of these and then let it go and just play. You know, you just let it go and you just play. I think that's one of the best things that you can do because that's, mo- that's the most important thing when it comes to dealing with mechanics is embracing the inconsistency and just playing the game. I definitely think that you can improve these things. I think you should try to improve some of these things. Maybe you guys in chat have even gone, oh yeah, that one's definitely me. That one's definitely me. And I'm going to go practice that a little bit. Good for you, right? That's definitely going to help. That's not going to totally fix the issue. The issue is not fixable. It's just something that you can improve. You can, you'll never truly, truly fix it, you know? So just, just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. So control as many of these factors that you can control and then understand that there's a few of them that you just cannot control at all and then just let it go. Just let it go.